In our previous video, we've looked at how we can calculate reactance in simple AC circuits. For example, the inductor that we have in this circuit here is going to have a reactance. And in previous videos before that, we've also looked at the concept of resistance and how resistors behave in simple circuits. In this video, we're going to look at the topic of impedance. And impedance we can think of as the combination of resistance and reactance. Before we get onto impedance, though, let's very quickly remind ourselves of reactance and how we can calculate it. First of all, we have an inductor here that has an inductance of 100 millihenries, but we're going to calculate the reactance of that inductor. And we said in our previous video that the formula for reactance is um, XL, the reactance of an inductor, 2 pi FL. So XL equals 2 pi FL, 2 pi times the frequency, times the inductance. And if we calculate that very quickly, that's 2 pi times 50 is our frequency given by the supply. Multiplied by L, 100 millihenries, that's 100 times 10 to the minus 3. And that gives me a reactance of 31.42 ohms. So now we know two things about this circuit. We know that there was a resistance here of 68 ohms in series with a reactance of 31.42 ohms. Now the temptation here is to think, well, my resistance is measured in ohms and my reactance is measured in ohms. And because they're in series, my impedance, the combination of the two, must simply be 68 add 31.42. In truth, though, we can't quite do this. And impedance is not worked out just by adding resistance and reactance together. We have to come up with a slightly different method. And it looks like this. Z is our letter for impedance. It's also measured in ohms. And it's calculated like this. Z squared equals R squared plus X squared. So let's have a look at this circuit as a quick example because we know that r is 68 so 68 squared plus x squared that's going to be 31.42 squared and that gives me an answer of uh, 5611.22 is this my final answer well if you have a look at what we've calculated here we've calculated z squared we don't really want z squared, we just want the impedance z. So finally, we have to square root our value. We can say that z is going to be the square root of 5611.22. And that gives me a final answer of 74.91 ohms. Now that we know the impedance of this circuit, we can calculate the current that flows through this whole circuit. So current I that flows through this whole series circuit here. And again, we can use Ohm's law. We know that Ohm's law I equals V over R. Well, we have to make a slight modification in this case because we can say this I equals V over Z. Voltage divided by impedance. And in this case, the voltage is 10. And the impedance, we've just worked out, is 74.91. And calculating that gives me a current of 0.133 or 133.49, to be exact, milliamps. Let's look at one more example. In this case, with a resistor in series with a capacitor. And we know that capacitors also produce reactance in AC circuits. The formula for calculating the reactance of a capacitor, though, is slightly different. We know that Xc, the reactance of a capacitor, is equal to 1 over 2 pi Fc. So let's go ahead and calculate the reactance of this capacitor, because we know that that's the same as 1 over 2 pi times 50, our frequency, 
times C, which is 270 microfarads, so 270 times 10 to the minus 6. And if I calculate that, I get an answer of 11.79 ohms. Some textbooks and websites will quote the reactants of a capacitor as being a negative number, and the formula would be minus 1 over 2 pi fc, and we get minus 11.79 ohms. In this case, it doesn't really matter, and the reason why is because we're going to square this number, and we know that z squared is r squared plus x squared, and if we square a minus number, it's only going to become a positive number anyway. So I'm not too bothered about that for the purposes of this video. So let's put some values in here and we can see that r squared is 33 squared plus x squared. Well, we know that x is 11.79 squared. And if I calculate that, I get an answer of uh, 1,228. Well, again, we know that what we've calculated there is z squared. And if we want to calculate z, we're going to have to find the square root of that value. And in that case, uh, the square root of 1,228 is 35.04 ohms. Again, because we now know the impedance of this whole circuit, we can calculate the current that is flowing through this circuit. And we can use our modified version of Ohm's law. We can say I equals V over Z. And we know that V again is 10 and Z now is 35 0.04 and that's going to give me a current of uh, 0 0.285 or 285.39 uh, milliamps. So I hope you found this video useful on how we can combine the idea of resistance and reactance together to form Z impedance which is also measured in ohms.